Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, it's late. It's not late, it's like 9 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna get this video filmed and then post it tomorrow because tomorrow's Thursday and we'll have a Thursday video anyway. But it, anyway, y'all, TikTok is doing something to me. Every single time I go to film a video, it always like back it, it completely wipes out my video i don't know what it's doing but it's driving me nuts um so we're going to try to post a two-part three-part dollar tree haul tomorrow on tiktok but so you guys are youtube is getting it first and you guys never get videos first um but with that being said i have a dollar tree haul it's from three different dollar trees and yeah I have a problem, but it's fine because Dollar Tree is my favorite store in the entire world. Like nothing compares to Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. You can try to argue with me. It's not gonna. It's just not gonna work. You're not gonna convince me. Hobby Lobby does come in close second though, because y'all, I went to Hobby Lobby today, spent thirty six dollars and sixty cents, I think it was, and I saved fifty two dollars and like eighteen cents. It was insane. Um. But anyway, let's get into the Dollar Tree haul. I, I'm not going to say which Dollar Tree I got everything from. One of my Dollar Trees is not a plus store. Um, the other two are, but there is only one plus item in here. So I'll probably save that for last so you guys can see it. Um, and of course, I'm crafting it because most of the time when I go to Dollar Tree, it's for crafting purposes only. And then I just find random stuff. But background noise my cat I have a one-year-old almost yeah one-year-old uh, black cat named Salem and my wifey is somewhere yonder and don't mind the scary scarecrow he kind of looks creepy in the corner right there he is a chair like the, the a chair decorator from um, Dollar Tree and I actually have him on top of my tree you guys can't see the rest of the tree because it's kind of dark in here but he's he's I promise he's not that creepy okay so we'll start off with two items that are not that did not come out of the Dollar Tree um warehouse facility whatever you want to call it um I found these today and I did get these from two different Dollar Trees because I got one for myself because my honey normally doesn't wear them but of course when I was at a second Dollar Tree today she's like I want one she can't even look at me right now because she knows I want to but um I love waist trainers. I wear them at the gym and I also wear them like around, especially when I'm like cleaning the house or something because I sweat. Um, so I found these stamina adjustable zipper waist trimmers. Um, there's a three zipper adjustment, promotes weight loss through sweating. Um, and they're actually camo. So they're super, super freaking cute. Look at those. Um, and there's two because my honey didn't want to feel left out. So now we both have them, but these were at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Like, that is insane. Absolutely insane. So I grabbed two of those. If you guys can hear the dog above me, they kennel their dog when they're not home. And it, it sounds like a hurricane sometimes. Um, okay, so then I grabbed a plain orange candle. I'm actually going to be doing a DIY with this that I will be filming for YouTube so we that was supposed to be tomorrow's video but now it'll be um Tuesday's video for you guys but so I got the orange candle and I'm gonna put either some fragrance oils in it or some wax melts or something to scent it up and then I'm going to actually put it into this little dish right here um the little jack-o-lantern dish how cute is that so it'll be like I'm gonna save the wick and everything and it, we're going to be doing a DIY candle. So I'm excited to do that because I am going to start doing DIYs on here. Um, okay. So my honey had a great idea with this. I like to make my own wax melts as well. So she saw these when we were in the Halloween section. And these are like little syringes. They're supposed to be like party favors for you to put like fake blood and stuff in for like parties. Um, but I'm actually going to use these for my wax melts because it makes it so much easier to put them into the molds and stuff and you get four in a package. So that's a good deal. 
I did grab a Crocs lighter today because our lighter is almost gone and we do enjoy a candle occasionally. So I grabbed that. Um, once or twice a month, I will grab glue, uh, the glue sticks from Dollar Tree for my hot glue gun. I have no issue with these. I've had people ask me on my TikTok if I have an issue with, like, are they cheap? Do they, like, do they work? These work really well. And you get 20 in a package for $1.25. So I have no issue with them. Um, and then, like, once a month, I will grab a toothpaste because I like to be stocked up. Toothpaste is something that, like, I never like to run out of. Um, I always like to make sure we have backups. So I grabbed a Crest 3D White Brilliance toothpaste today. That's a good deal for a $1.25. Um, okay. I grabbed these... Uh, two pack of Jot um, kids scissors for my toddlers. Uh, a new deodorant for me. Running out of room and I'm trying not to throw things behind me, but we might have to start doing that. Um, okay. Uh, turkey baster to get ready for Thanksgiving. I know you guys are going to be like, Chelsea, it's August, but it's fine. So we got turkey baster. Uh, I finally caved in and got the foil backsplash wall sticker and it is the, like the fat Italian chef. I think he's absolutely to die for and he's going behind my kitchen sink. Love that. Okay. These are newer to my Dollar Tree. Um, they had it in the gray and the white and then I think the second one was like black and like a darker gray. But these are sink mats so they have like these little legs basically put them in your sink and they're meant to like so when you're when you put dishes in the sink you're not risk like you're lessening your chance of like breaking glass and stuff like that so grabbed one of those if you are a crafter i recommend going to dollar tree getting this this is the crafters square double-sided tape it is freaking phenomenal it's so good like junk journaling um, scrapbooking. I use this to hang up because I keep forgetting to get, let me remind me, I keep forgetting to get frames for the diamond dots that I finish. So I actually have double-sided tape on my wall and it's not peeling off the paint or anything. And I hang up diamond dots. Crazy. Um, okay. I found these. You guys know how I feel about these shapes. These color your own decorations, ornaments. I love them. But when I was at Dollar Tree, I found apples. And I have not seen apples yet. I love that Dollar Tree is giving us more apples. I love that. Uh, okay. So this was on my list. And the other two Dollar Trees that I go to the most did not have them. Tonight when my baby and I went to another Dollar Tree, like the Dollar Tree that I don't go to very often. I probably haven't been there in like two or three months, honestly. Um, they had two things that were on my fall list to find it was these two canvases okay so yeah it was these two canvases and they're both upside down we love that look um so yeah it is for a recipe for pecan pecan pie however you want to pronunciate it i grew up calling it pecan um but it's the recipe look how cute that is and then we have a recipe for cherry pie what? Like, these are so cute. If you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys saw that Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have other two recipes for pumpkin pie, and that's apple pie, I believe, but they're completely different. They're not like canvases like this. They're like, like the hanging decorations. Um, I love that Dollar Tree is giving us that. Love that. Okay. Um, I grabbed another taller candle. This one has the Day of the Dead little decoration on it. There was a bunch of different options to choose from. I got this even though there's no fragrances to it because I like to just have a light can a lit candle every now and then for the ambiance of it. So I grabbed these. And I don't know why I don't grab more of these. Like I don't like a candle sometimes for the smell. I like it just to for the, you know, the prettiness of it. Uh okay. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting for Dollar Tree to put these out. We have a summertime one, like the nautical themed one, and I love it. It works great. 
but they are relatively on the smaller side. So when we put our dish, our dishes on it, we're having to use like a dish towel as well to hold more dishes because the dish drying mat is just not big enough. So I kept that in mind today when I saw these and grabbed two dish drying mats, but they're the fall ones. And I'm so excited because my kitchen is not really fall, like the rest of my house is, but my, my kitchen isn't. So I found the dish drying mats with the pumpkins and the leaves on them, which is absolutely amazing. So got that. Okay. Um, we got a pumpkin carving kit and something that I tried explaining to TikTok, but then they, you know, TikTok decided to backtrack my video. We went to Walmart today, and when I tell you guys, $7 for the, the couple pumpkin carving tools and the stencils to make jack-o'-lanterns out of, $7. It was like $6.90 something. And I looked at my wife, and I could not believe it because I'm 31, and like I thought, I seriously thought, like, weren't those like 99 cents? Like a couple years ago, like when did we start paying $7 for those? My mind is blown. Anyway, and those sets don't come with the big scooper and the big like knife anyway. And because it's going to be Nicole and I, I probably should have grabbed two. So the next time I'm at Dollar Tree, I'll probably grab another one because that way when we are making, doing pumpkins with my son, we can both scoop and stuff. He'll just use his hand, but that way one of us isn't waiting for a scooper um okay y'all know me y'all know me it's not a Chelsea Dollar Tree haul unless there's stickers okay we do stickers we always do stickers and there's probably more stickers in the other bag I haven't opened it yet um but we got two sets of Halloween stickers I don't have these yet so they have like the googly eyes and I just noticed that the witch is actually missing one of her googly eyes it's kind of creepy, but I don't see it anywhere in the package. So I don't know if she was just made with no googly eye, but that girl does have, she has no googly eye. Um, and then I got these, these are freaking adorable. All the different jack-o'-lanterns, like the pump, the, um, yeah, Chelsea, they're all pumpkin. Um, the clown and then like the little unicorn and the butterfly, like so cute. So you're not, so you know, you're at Dollar Tree a lot when your wife can point out stickers that you have. Like, I don't need her to, to tell me that. I know I have an issue and it's fine. Y'all support me. Y'all keep coming back to the Dollar Tree videos. So she needs to not tell me when I don't need something because I already have it. Especially when it comes to stickers. There's my cat. Um, these were last year's, if not the year before's fall stickers, but I'm here for them. And I think I have two of each, if not three of each. Um, so here's these stickers. And then we got these, but why would I not get them again? It was the last one of each of them there. And of course I'm going to grab them because don't tell me, I never have too many stickers. A crafter can never have too many stickers. That's just not a thing. She wouldn't understand. She's not a crafter. Eventually she will, but right. <laughs> um, I grabbed eight of these today. But the, you grab eight of. So I grabbed eight of these today. And the reason I did is because I've noticed I don't have any window clings. Now, let me backtrack. I have window clings. But the window clings that are like the staticky, like, how do you describe them, honey? Not the not these window clings, like the other ones, the non-jelly ones. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, I know they're for the window. But how do you describe them? They're like the paper and they stick by like, st I think it's like static. I don't know. Okay, you guys, you guys know the other window clings I'm talking about. I, I get those, but I get those to craft with because they never stick to our windows. Like never. And I have a sliding glass door and they never stick. And I have a toddler, like and he, he enjoys them. Like I want him to enjoy them. So I figured if I got the window clings that are like the jelly ones, I've had better experience with those and he will, he'll be able to decorate the window without them falling off. 
So I grabbed four Halloween ones, four fall ones, um, and then two of the fall ones I'm going to save for like Thanksgiving time. Excuse me. And then two of them I'm going to let him put up when he comes back from his dad's house this weekend. So for the Halloween ones, I grabbed the little haunts. I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying not to get the reflection. I think it was better over here. Yeah. So I grabbed the Halloween, the haunted house with like the ghosts and the moon. I grabbed the witch's hat. This is Happy Halloween. Got this one right here. We always have to get one with a black cat in it because we have we are a black cat family. Okay, so I got those. And then I got this one with this Hello Fall. Look at that freaking squirrel. Love it. Of course, we had to get the truck with the like the pumpkin and then the pie and the sunflowers and then apples again dollar tree with the apples this year thank you i appreciate that um i do i'm a pumpkin girl but i love me apples too did i say i love me apples <laughs> what then there's this one that says autumn on it oh gosh and then of course the turkey so we're going to save him for Thanksgiving and then one of those other like autumn ones. Um, okay. Real fast. I love wreath making. It's one of my favorite fall, I mean fall, fall, my favorite crafts to do. So I wanted to get, honey, can you grab our cat? I wanted to grab some stuff to make some Thanksgiving ones. So I grabbed this pretty like yellow mixed with like gold. And then I grabbed the brown with like the gold in it. And then some just basic, basic orange. Honey, shut the door. I can hear you. Not me having to yell at my wifey. She's trying to replace our toilet seat right now. We had to get a new toilet seat. What you gonna do? Okay. Um, I grabbed some more ribbon. I love the plaid. This is plaid done right. So cute. Like it's that's everything. Um, we just grabbed a thing of paper towel while we were there. Okay. And then for the rest of this bag, we oh I grabbed a lipstick. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Um, I have a thing of toothpicks. You get two. Oh, you get two bottles of a hundred. So you get 200 or is that 50 bottle of a hundred. So we need some toothpicks and then if this is relative, this is like kind of cool. If you guys are like into beauty stuff, they had this one and then they had a lighter version, but how cute is this with the coffee beans on it? It is Sassy and Chic brand and it's a makeup sponge with case. But the cute thing about this is this actually, like I said, they had a lighter one, but I just, I grabbed this one. So it gives you the beauty blender, right? And then they give you the case for it, but the case looks like a freaking coffee cup. I don't know how I'm gonna, okay. It looks like a freaking coffee cup. Tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. And this is my first time seeing this. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. So, so cute. Yeah, so if you guys see these, and like these are gonna be really cute for gift giving. Super, super cute for gift giving. And then I just got a Milani lipstick. If I'm hauling makeup from Dollar Tree, unless it's brand new and I feel like you guys need to see it, majority of the time it's going to be a lipstick because lipsticks are just my thing. Um, ooh, especially in the fall time. So this is Milani 8-3 matte and it's in the, the color Tees. I wanted a darker color for fall. So I think this is a pretty good, pretty good color. Okay. We're almost done guys. I promise. So 
And then from yesterday's bag, I found this really pretty blessed sign. It's like a DIY wooden sign that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm trying to make the lighting a little bit better. Sorry, guys. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it has the beading um, for the hanger, I guess. Um, okay, I found this and I just, for some reason yesterday, could not say no to it. It's got like something, it's got like, I think it's like, like a news article or something about Halloween on the back of it and the flower is like 3D popped up but I just love this I don't think I'm gonna hang it I think I'm gonna get like a um a picture frame like holder for like the like the counter and place this in it because I don't really want to hang that up so I got that and then I did grab a Paw Patrol Halloween coloring book for my babies um Halloween, you can go back. My baby's Halloween um basket. I make him like a basket, like an Easter basket, um, for uh Halloween. Okay. Okay. I told you guys there's probably more stickers in here. Again, different Halloween stickers that I do not own yet. I love the fact that they put a vampire in there. Yeah. If there's new stickers, I'm getting them. Um, okay, these were new. I've never seen these before, but these are foam roses in the Halloween section in the Halloween colors and you get 16 of them, which I love. And they give you the sticky backs for them. So you can pick these, do whatever you want. It's like a DIYer's dream. Um, I got some Halloween napkins, but it's because I have a lot of DIYs for these. Um, this was my favorite pattern. I love how spooky it was. I just loved it. But there's 24 in here, so that's a good deal for $1.25 if you're having like a Halloween party. Now, I have hauled these before, but I needed new ones because I actually even have Christmas decorations um, that I'm going to make with these. So these are going to be like I needed a double pack of each. So these are the color your own ornaments. Um, there's eight in each. I got more witches hats and then more ghosts because like I said, I have a ton of fall, Halloween, and Christmas crafts to do with these. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I had them. Um, I slept on these for a little while, but I didn't anymore. And it was the last pack of each of them. You get eight in each, but these are the wooden little yeah, like you can decorate with these these are the apples there's eight in there and then the acorns so that is so. um okay i grabbed myself some goodie hair clips because i want to start wearing hair clips to less damage to my hair um and it's the goodie brand so that's a good deal and then i found these adorable scrunchies again for my hair so they're less damaging and it was a five pack for $1.25 so you couldn't really beat that. I did get a crafters square craft scraper because I have I'm a crafter and a lot of people are using these with their Dollar Tree rub on transfers they say it's a lot better um, to use this to rub them rub the transfers on surfaces and it works a lot better. Um, okay. Couldn't remember if I got these or not. So I grabbed two more. I have a thing, okay? My thing this year is for Halloween and like fall, I'm loving the candy corn colors. Like I'm loving the red, I mean the orange and the yellow and the white. And then for Christmas, like I'm in love with gingerbread men. What is this? Like what is going on? Am I just settling into myself? Am I changing? Am I evolving? What's going on? So I got these because I don't think I have these as I'm like wailing them around. I don't think I have these. I know I have the candy corns, but I don't think I have the pumpkins. Watch, my wife will know. Hey babe, do I have these yet? Oh, see, I told you, not even in my craft stuff. <laughs> get those while you can because those are selling out super super quick 
I finally caved in. I didn't think I was going to need one of these. I remember my wife even, I don't think, I didn't think so. Um, I, yeah, because I thought, I remember my wife picking one of these out one day and I put it back because I was like, no, I don't need it. But then it was the last one yesterday. So I was like, no, now I need it. It is the little fall decor that looks like a, what do you call it? A rolling pin. And I love how they made it flat so it can go on a surface because this, if you didn't like the saying and you wanted to create your own, you could very easily paint over this and sand, if you needed to sand it down, sand it down a little bit and repaint it and then decorate it as your own. But I don't know, I might do that, but I kind of like the falling leaves as well. Okay, um, I got this pretty basic. This is an everyday, it's just a blackboard easel. I got it to decorate for Halloween. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like 31st or some with like a spider web or something. I don't know. I don't know. You guys will probably see a DIY with that. And then before I get into my cards, because you know, cards like, like stickers. If I go to Dollar Tree, stickers and, and, car, and greeting cards, just expect them. I saw this little guy yesterday and I could not say no to him. One, because he's so cute. And two, we don't really have a lot of ghost decorations. And for like Halloween and I just love how he's got the eyes and he's got the back cutouts and it looks like a sheet because of how they fr like frilled out the bottom and the best part is okay if you guys have been like avid Dollar Tree shoppers like I am Dollar Tree used to do this where they had the pull tab and they had like the circle battery in it so all you got to do is pull the tab and then you just turned it on um, a lot of things from Dollar Tree are not like that anymore. A lot of the things you have to put batteries in, they require batteries. Um, so I was so happy to see that this is actually one of the pull tab ones. I did pull the tab um, and I don't know how well it's going to show up, but he, oh, that's blinding. Sorry. He lights up and he is just so angelic because it goes through like the bat holes and his eyes. He is just so cute. And I just, I could not say no to him. I couldn't, he was the only one. And I haven't even seen these online. Like he was just, he was speaking to me. So yes. Okay. Cards. Now, if you guys are wondering why I stuck up on cards, I think my wife wonders that as well. But I think at the same time, she like learned not to question me anymore because there's just no point because Dollar Tree gives me joy. It's fine. It's fine. Who am I hurting? By going to the to Dollar 20, 25 store, right? Um, I like greeting cards for multiple reasons. One being um when I'm giving like presents and stuff for any holiday, for some reason I forget I forget cards. And I love cards because they're so personable, but like I forget them. What why do I do that? Um, so I like to have a stack of personalized cards um just in case and then I do everything with them I craft with them in my junk journals and scrapbooks and recipe binders I, I just I cut them out and use them for different things like I I just I do I do so much with them um so used to, usually when I like look at a card and I'm like okay I'm looking at this as like a craft perspective I wouldn't grab the envelope but I started getting the envelopes just in case because What's happening is I'm liking cards so much. If I find one that I'm in love with and I get multiples of, sometimes I do want to use it as, as an actual greeting card. So I get the envelopes and envelopes you can also craft with. You got to be creative here. <laughs> so I grabbed four yesterday. The first one I grabbed was just this one right here that says Happy Halloween with all of like the little candies and baked goods and coffees on it. Um... I don't really pay attention too much to what they say. I try to avoid getting the ones that have like words that I can't like really blank out. So like this one would be okay. I could put happy Halloween in here on here because if I wanted to make this into a recipe page, it could just be like a little, like I could put this on a page right here, like cut this part off. Just use this, like cut it in half where it's lined. And then in a recipe book, you just glue part of it down or tape part of it down. So then when you go to open it right here could be your little recipe. So it's like a, a creative way to do a recipe. 
So there's that one. My wife went in our room. She's probably sick of my shenanigans. Um, so this one I thought was adorable with the little witch's feet and the jack-o'-lantern. Again, it just says Happy Halloween. Um, nothing too exciting there, but I loved it. I loved him, okay? This is what I'm talking about. How cute would this be to craft with? And I loved the fact that they did not square him off. They kept him round like his normal pumpkin self. He is going to be so cute to craft with. So stinking cute to craft with. And then the last one, I have gotten this one before, but I fell in love with it so much that I was just like, I need to get another one. I just need to. Um, and it says sending Halloween wishes on it, but they have the wording enough that if I wanted to cut it off, it's not going to completely take away from the picture. It is like just, just this front porch, the spider webs, the mums, the black cat, the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, like it just, it just, everything is about it. Just makes my heart so happy. So this is my second one that I'm, and I got that. So that was everything other than my one Dollar Tree Plus item that I got. I'm in so many Dollar Tree craft groups that I, it is bad because then I have to go get more to make more crafts with. And I have been seeing people haul these. And I've been seeing people do crafts with them. And now I have the creative juices to create something with them. I don't know if it's going to be fall related yet. I don't know if it's going to be Halloween related yet. I just know I'm going to do it. If you have a Dollar Tree Plus option, run to Dollar Tree because they have for $5 the stackable pumpkins. So this is like the pumpkins are in there and you just stack them. They're cute like that even on their, on their own. Like that is adorable. But if you do, like there's just so many crafts. There is so many crafts. And if I, if I end up crafting these, when I end up crafting these, I will, I will do a DIY on here so you guys can see them. But like just run to Dollar Tree, okay? Because even if you don't know what you're going to do with them yet, you need these in your life. Like $5 is insane. Absolutely insane. So that was it, guys. That was my big walmart haul three dollar tree walmart haul we're we're doing dollar tree i'm tired we're doing dollar tree that was my big dollar tree haul <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys all in tuesday's video